When taking water samples from a stream, the filtered water samples are the priority and should always be collected first. You will need the site bag containing the sample bottles and a prepared pack of syringes and single-use filters. Carefully place these bags on a stable base within easy reach or in your pocket. Ensure you are facing upstream with the water flow coming towards you. If there is minimal flow in the stream, position yourself in the area with the best possible flow and avoid taking a sample from isolated ponds. Wash your hands thoroughly in the stream. Gloves are not strictly necessary and may make handling the containers more difficult. Remove a syringe from the poly bag and rinse it in the stream. To rinse the syringe, fill it with water and dispose of the water downstream. This process should be carried out three times. Once this is done, fill the syringe up again and be ready to begin sampling. Remove a filter from the small poly bag containing clean and unused filters. Handle it only on the edges and take care not to touch the tip or allow the filter to become contaminated. Carefully place the filter onto the end of the syringe. Then seal and return the small poly bag to the larger bag containing the syringes. Press the syringe lightly to release a few drops of water and to equilibrate the pressure between the syringe and filter. Now remove the bottle marked FA from its poly bag. This should always be the first water sample you collect. First, pre rinse the bottle, remove the cap and using the syringe put a small amount of filtered water into the bottle. Replace the cap, shake the bottle and dispose of the water. Repeat this process three times. When removing the cap ensure no unfiltered water, dirt or your finger comes into contact with the cap or the inside of the bottle. Do not put the syringe, cap or bottle down onto a surface and risk contamination. Once the bottle has been pre-rinsed three times, you may begin filling the bottle with filtered water. When the syringe is empty, screw the cap back onto the bottle and return it to the poly bag. It will take several syringefuls to fill the bottle. Remove the filter, taking care again to only handle it on the edges and refill the syringe. Replace the filter and retrieve the partially filled bottle from the poly bag. Continue filling the bottle. If at any stage it is becoming harder to filter the water, do not brace the filter against the neck of the bottle in order to force water through it. This may rupture the filter membrane, meaning water collected is not screened to the correct fraction. Instead, switch to a second filter. Always draw up the stream water from a few centimetres below the surface flow. Ensure that samples are taken from where the water is actively flowing and avoid sampling water that has become cloudy where the stream bed has been disturbed. Fill the FA bottle to just the base of the neck and secure the cap tightly. Now return the FA bottle to its poly bag and remove the other bottle, marked FUA. Repeat the process of triple rinsing as per the previous bottle. You can continue to use the same filter if water is passing through it freely. Ensure any used filters are disposed of in the pre-labeled dirty bag, as it is often hard to distinguish between used dirty and unused clean filters. Fill the FUA bottle completely, leaving minimal airspace at the top and secure the cap tightly.
Return the bottle to the polybag with the FA sample and tie loosely to ensure that both bottles remain clean. Return this bag to the sight bag. Next, remove the largest bottle from the sight bag. This is used to collect unfiltered water, so the syringe and filters are not required. Remove the cap and place the bottle directly into the stream for pre-rinsing. Partially fill the bottle, replace the cap, shake the bottle and dispose of the water. Repeat this process three times. Now the sample may be taken. Completely submerge the bottle in the water to ensure there are no air bubbles in the sample. Once the bottle is filled with water, screw on the top, ideally while it is still submerged. Shake dry the bottle and check carefully for air bubbles before returning it to the sight bag. If you identify any air bubbles, refill the bottle and ensure that no bubbles remain. A second unfiltered water sample is collected in the small bottle with the black cap. As before, Rinse the bottle three times before collecting the sample. To collect the sample, submerge the bottle and ideally screw on the cap while it is still submerged. Shake the bottle dry, invert and check for air bubbles. Once again, if you identify any bubbles, refill the bottle. Return the bottle to the sight bag, ensuring that the sight bag remains as dry as possible. Now remove the unused and long polythene bag. This is used to make an observation of the stream water color and suspended solids content. First, fill the bag with water from active and undisturbed flow, then hold it up against clear light and note the color. If necessary, adjust the position of the bag so that it is against clear sky rather than vegetation. This will ensure a more accurate observation. Observe and note the color of the water, yellow, brown or colorless. Also observe the degree of suspended solids in the bag, absent, light, moderate or high. Return the water to the stream and the empty poly bag to the sight bag. This bag will be used later to bag up your stream sediment sample. An observation must also be made of the stream bed material. In order to do this, take a sample of a variety of clasts from the stream and rub them against the skin of your forearm to create a streak. Take note of the average streak color and intensity, orange, brown or black. This indicates what materials have precipitated and oxidized on the surface of the stream bed. Collect the poly bags, ensuring they are sealed and leave the stream with caution. Thank you.